Hearts taste defeat for the first time this season and it happened at Dens Park of all places. Welcome back guys to Son of Scotland TV here for a match review or maybe just a, a rant about Hearts' 1-0 defeat in Dundee against Dundee surprisingly enough and it dropped us into 5th place in the table. It was a big opportunity for us to win and go on to 7 points and not only go on to 7 points but also go joint top with Celtic, St Mirren and Mullerwell but did we take advantage of that no we did not and we put on probably the worst half of football I've seen for Hearts in a very very long time I don't think we registered a single shot in the first half it, I can't, it took us about an hour to even get a shot on target it was a really really poor game for us first half we were shite second half we came out we were better we made changes Boyce came on and say what you want about Liam Boyce I just wish the guy was like five years younger because he is such a player it's just a shame that he is coming towards the end of his career but I don't think Boyce gets the credit that he deserves the guy with the ball at his feet man he reminds me of Messi he's like a ginger fucking Messi running about causing all these teams chaos at the back but unfortunately no one got on the end of his great ball he, he cut past his man, he got a, a, a whippet delivery, a whippet, I don't even know what a whippet is, a, a wicked delivery in across the, like right in the six yard box, I mean the, the cross came in and the ball was about two yards away from the goal line and it's just waiting, it's, it's desperate, it's, it's begging for someone to get a touch on this and tap it in but there was nobody there and I'm thinking right well. Okay, we're playing a bit better, but Dundee then score. It was McCowan with the goal, and it should never have happened. Sander Clark taking a free kick pretty far out of his goal. It was about halfway between his goal and the halfway line, but it was on the sidelines, and it was just a, a dumb... There was no reason, really, just no reason at all for Sander Clark to be taking this and put himself out of position, but he did, and then we lost the ball and Dundee and McCowan scored a good goal for a good distance but again the goalkeeper wasn't in his nets at the time so I mean the goal looks better than it was but the guy shot originally thinking he had an open net so if Sander Clark was in nets, if Sander Clark was not taking this free kick this would never have happened so disappointing to concede a goal like that but not a game that I really want to talk about. It was Dundee's first win of the season. Tony Doherty got three points for his side for the first time. So fair play to him, fair play to Dundee. I thought on the overall basis of the game, maybe a draw would have been the fair result. But we were so bad in the first half. And I don't think we've done enough really in the second half that I have no complaints. Dundee win this game. I'm not going to sit here and say that we, we deserve something. If we got a draw, if we got a point, then fair enough. But I don't think we'd done enough to say that we deserved a point. If we got a point, then fair enough. But okay, but nah, we didn't really do anything to justify winning this game. Maybe a point would have been fair, but I've no complaints, guys. Dundee won. We were shite. Uh, I feel like that is a concurrent theme with this side under Stephen Naismith. We very rarely put two good performances together. It seems to be one step forward, one step back. At least we're not going one step forward, two steps back. That would absolutely suck. I just don't feel like we're going anywhere at the moment. We do put in good performances one game, then the next game it's like back to where we were. And it's, I just don't feel there's much progress. I don't feel like there's much progress. The signings that we've brought in, I haven't really seen that much of them. It's a bit strange. He's, he's not really giving them that much game time. Tagawa and Fargas. I, I'd like to see what these guys have got, but they seem to just come late on in games. I know Fargas started it against their pack but I don't know I mean just I'm not really feeling the selection I don't really know what our best 11 is at the moment I've still not seen enough of the new players to determine whether or not they should be starting or not I think it's going to take a while I think it's going to take a while for us to determine what is our best 11 right now I honestly don't know but that 11 that we had out there was not very good um, maybe on paper it was decent but they didn't perform well and Dundee got the win so fair enough to it guys I'm not going to sit and spend too much time about it that's why they refused coming on Monday because yesterday after watching it, I felt fucking sick because it was such a shite performance don't want to talk about it but hell you need, you need to you need to address it even when you lose you can't just celebrate when you win you have to you have to um, talk about these things when you lose so aye, there you go that's it shite game but we'll move on to the next one Travel to Greece here on Thursday. Hopefully we can get a massive result. I, I still think the tie is open. I know a lot of people believe we have no chance because we didn't win the the home tie. But I didn't see that much for Pack to suggest that they are this quality team. So 
I think Greece, I think we can turn it around in Greece. We'll see what happens though on Thursday night. Anyway guys, catch you in the next one. Till then, peace.